All right, I'm here with James at the uh, Lego booth at the, at the Creativity World Forum. So wh why is Lego here at the Creativity World Forum? Well, we were actually invited. Um, I was also interested in attending this, this forum, uh, mostly because, um, well, the title is Creativity Forum. Um, and I don't know what, I can't think of a better uh, creative toy or instrument that's used in corporate America. Kids' classrooms, kids' playrooms. Um, so that's why we decided to come, and that's why we're also invited to come to this. All right. Well, we have a Lego store here in Oklahoma City. I know my son loves it a lot. What are some of the things people in Oklahoma should know about as far as opportunities, since we've actually got a Lego store? They can't say that about, you know, every town in the United States. So, Well, um, the, probably one of the cool things that we do at our Lego store, at all Lego stores, is our monthly mini build. Our monthly mini build is the first Tuesday every month, 5 to 7. It's a free event. It's first come, first serve. And for the month of December, um, kids will be building a Christmas tree. Okay. And parents can bring the kids in, learn how to build a Christmas tree. Um, it changes every month. So, like last month, we built a baked turkey on a plate. So, uh, the kids really enjoyed that one a lot. Uh, they got to see the Christmas tree. So, we should expect a big crowd um, for the December build. Um, Is there a sign up or just you no, come on into the store? Just come on into the store, first come, first serve. Um, if you're not familiar with the date or you forget, you can always call our store. Um, or go to the website, um, lego.com, under store locator. Okay. Um, there's also other events. We have club meetings on some Saturdays. Oh, really? Yeah. So um, who all is involved in that club? Like, what ages? It's usually about 6 to 12. Um, we do accept anywhere. We do accept kids older than that. Um, but 6 is the minimum age, because that's usually the minimum age where kids can actually sit down and actually... Focus. Participate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and focus, exactly. Um, we also, sometimes we'll do special events, like let the, when we grand opened, we had a big building event where we built the RGD2. Yes, we were there. This last summer, we had the free building event where we built a big skyline. Um, I don't know what we'll do next year, but hopefully it'll be something similar. But you just got to stay tuned because uh, we're kind of a unique Lego store of the company. Um, we're actually the smallest Lego store in the company. Really? Not the smallest store, but smallest market. Uh, okay. Like us in Birmingham. So we're pretty too. lucky to have one here. Yeah, it was kind of a test uh -huh. um, to see how they do in smaller markets. And we're actually doing really well. That's awesome. Um, well, so my son absolutely has to come to the Lego <laughs> store every time we go to Penn Square. Oh, so. yeah, definitely. And, and the, the cool thing is, since we're, the, we're kind of a test store, we get to test out a lot of new marketing events and ideas well, like this. Cool. Normally, most stores wouldn't come to forums like this, but we yeah. want to kind of test it out. Well, and it is a unique opportunity for Oklahoma to host this. It is, know, kind of it thing. is, you know, and I was really excited about it, and it's been a big hit. I think it's probably been the most popular booth here um, at the event, and the, the great thing is, is that it's all adult, you know, it's an all adult event, so Yeah, it's all well, adults, adults love to play too, not right? Kids, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, does the club meet at the Lego store, or where does the club on Saturdays club, meet? Clubs do meet at the Lego store, um, you do sign up for that one, there is a, uh, a fee on it, although they are changing the fee, they are going to make it cheaper this year, um, I don't have the details on that yet, but we'll have that soon, though. Okay. Is there a sign-up list for people to stay in the loop just about Lego Oklahoma City store stuff? Um, there is. Just contact our store. We can. We have a personal mailing list for um, kind of VIP members, uh, club members um, that really like to enjoy when we get when we have new discounts on things or events like that. Okay. They're usually the first to know, but they can also go to Lego.com and sign up for the general for all the Lego stores. Right. So, can you tell me anything you want to tell me about any of the sets or anything like that that you've well, got sure. here that people well, might be interested in? Obviously, here for Star Wars fans, we have the. Death Star. Is this a um, new a new one? It's actually been out for a couple of years. They kind of tweak it every year a little bit, but it's, the, it's pretty much the set every uh, child in the world wants. Now, what do you say to folks that wonder about, can I be creative when I've got these instructions, you know? Um, how, how does, I, I can answer that for my own son, but how, what do you think about creativity as far as, you know, you've got the instructions for the kit, mm -hmm. but then obviously there's lots of other possibilities. Well, so when I was a kid and I built with Lego, um, you know, I, I was born in '83, so I'm still pretty young. But they did not have like Star Wars when I was a kid. It's still basically the sets, buildings, and whatnot. Um, when I was a kid, if, what if I got a set? I never built the set. I never used the instructions. I just like even if it was like the airport of Death Star, I would just use the bricks and make my own things. But some kids aren't like this. Some go. Some really want to build what's on the box and display it. Well, and it'd be some... really hard to figure out how to do that if you weren't using instructions, exactly. too. So exactly. It gives you flexibility. Exactly. All right. Well, that's cool. It looks like this is a different set. So this is the, the young yeah, kids these set. Are the, these are the Duplo bricks here. Um, this is a Duplo set, mostly um, designed for ages 2 to 5. Okay. Um, it's perfect for the kids so they can't swallow them. Up here's a mosaic, and that's a mosaic we built for our store display, um, one of our displays. That's fun. You guys built that? Yes, the store employees, we built that. Uh -huh. it's, um, it's, that's awesome. Or, it's characters in the new universe PC game that came out. Yeah.
Very cool. Right here we got the airport set. It's a hot item for Christmas time right now. City series. All right. And then to your right over here, uh, what is, all the adults love is the architecture series. Oh wow, I haven't even heard about this. Yeah, it's, it's a new series, about a year or two old. Um, some of these are, are new. Um, the most popular, obviously, is the Falling Water House. Huh. Uh, we have Rockefeller well, where Center. Where is the Falling Water House? That's in Pennsylvania? That's in, yeah, Mill Run, Pennsylvania. It's the famous Frank Lloyd Wright building. Oh, okay. Show my uh, architectural illiteracy by not knowing that. So we also I do recognize the White House. <laughs> <laughs> we do it. That's a new set, too. We just got that one in. Okay, cool. Well, anything else you'd like to tell people who are interested in Lego, or especially people in Oklahoma? Um, not, not, not top of my head, but I can tell you, I can tell everybody who does follow Lego and uh, likes the city, the store's doing really well, um, exceeds expectations. We get a lot of out-of-town visitors that drive from Missouri and Kansas. Awesome. Um, and Arkansas to our store, so it's been a great thing, and uh, you know, we hope it continues uh, to get the great support that it is.